All right, guys, I just hooked an enormous brown trout. Like, it's huge. Oh, it's so big. It is so big. Like, it's a huge trout. Huge trout. <laughs> Get ready. Come on, don't do that. All right, guys, welcome to another episode of Hardman Fishing Adventures. Um, I'm starting this video off a little different. So, I've actually already fished all day. I've caught some great fish, had some awesome hits, and it's gonna be a great video. But I wanted to start by picking up trash. It's something that I don't really, I don't really show a lot on this channel. I think I've shown it like maybe once or twice, but I think it's important to give back, especially if there's places that you fish a lot or whatever it may be. It's important to give back and try to improve those places somehow. For me today, I picked up trash. I have a trash bag right here, it's full. And I'll probably pick up like one or two or three more trash bags, but a lot of people can catch big fish, but not a lot of people clean up the creek or not a lot of people uh, improve the creek or do anything other than just catch the fish and go on. So I'm gonna clean up some more trash and then we will move on with the video and show some awesome freaking fish catches. God bless. I think it's a rainbow, and I think it's foul foot. Jeez, dude. Yeah, rainbow. And foul hooked. It's not a bad fish, though. Okay. Relax. I'd like to get you undone. There we go. See, that wasn't too bad. Relax. I'll briefly show you off. Relax. He's not going to relax. First fish of the day. No mega giant, but take what I can get. Jesus, dude, did you see that? Holy cow. <laughs> that was incredible. He literally went airborne, dude. Oh my gosh. Come here, bud. He ain't a mega giant, but that hit was incredible. Sure. Relax, relax. I know, buddy. I know, buddy. He's a male. Probably, oh, I don't know. 18 inches? I'm gonna let him go here. There he goes. Thanks for playing, buddy. That was incredible. It's literally why I streamer fish. I haven't had a hit like that in ages, man. Let's see if there's another one in here. I'm sure there is. That was kind of towards the back end of the hole. I just love that strike so much. It was worth it to me just to see that. Oh, no, shh. I literally cannot tell you a reason why that fish didn't get hooked. Oh, dang, that was a nice one too. So mad at myself. 
All right, guys, this water's kind of clear here. So what I'm doing, I'm gonna try to Euro it and see what happens. Oh God, damn, big fish. Broke me too, didn't it? All right, guys, got retied. I think next time, I'm just, or this time, I'm just gonna have to play the fish more. Like my, the reason I pulled it out is because it went underneath one of these logs. I think I'm just gonna have to like let it, um, let it run under the logs and just wait it out kind of, if another one hits. It was a fish, not very big though. Yep, I think that's the same fish. It broke me again, dude. Oh, it ate the other net. Interesting. Dang, dude, that's so annoying. Well, it broke me off, but I'm gonna just try a single nymph briefly, see if there's something else in there now that that rainbow's gone. I mean, I'd like to catch the rainbow, but I just don't see how the hell I'm supposed to land it here. Another big rainbow. That's not quite as big. I just don't understand how I'm supposed to land these fish. This one's smaller. Come here, buddy. There we go, guys. It's probably 16 to 18. I'm just gonna pop them and let them go. Thanks, friend. There's no way that there's not a brown in there. I refuse to believe that. Jesus, dude. Another rainbow about the same size. I'd love to just keep them out of there a little bit better, but. Ooh, this one's orange. Wow, look at this fish, guys. Chill out. I'm just gonna hold you for a second. Look how much more orange this one is. Jeez. Jeez. Thanks, friend. All right, guys, I just hooked an enormous brown trout. Like, it's huge. It's a huge brown trout. I just flicked up here in this hole. Need hit the Euronymph. Make sure he can run if he wants to. Come on, buddy. I got a little tighter than that. Oh, it's so big. It is so big. Like, it's a huge trout. Huge trout. <laughs> like, it doesn't even know it's really hooked. I don't exactly know how to deal with this. I might just be able to lull him into a sense of security. Maybe he doesn't know I'm here. I might try that here in a second. He ain't ready. Come on, don't do that. Don't do that. Come back here. So basically guys, like with a fish like this, like as big as this fish is, like with the gear I have, basically what I'm trying to do 
is I don't want him to go crazy. I'm literally guiding him, if you guys can't tell. Like I'm literally just pulling this fish back and forth. And I'm hoping that here in a second, he'll just like come to me. Sorry, I didn't get the hit on camera, by the way. He's orange too. If I keep pressure on him, he's not gonna pop. If I do reach for him, it has to be a really good reach because if, he, if I spook him, that's why I'm sitting down right now because I don't want to be over top of the fish. I'm just keeping the side pressure on him, keeping the side pressure on him. Come back to me, buddy. I can literally see guys what I'm doing. Like I'm literally just, I'm guiding this fish around. If I really pull on him, he'll get ticked off and take off. But as long as I just guide him, he's not gonna, he probably won't run for it. Probably, he could, but he probably won't. Don't get down there, buddy. Don't do that. Come back up here. Can you pull your head this way? Pull your head this way. Oh, he's not ready. I don't want him to go down there either, though. If he goes down, I'm in trouble because there's a bunch of overhanging trees. And um, it's gonna be tough for me to pull that 10-foot rod down these under overhanging trees. fish is so pretty. I really just want to land him because of how pretty he is. Ooh. Got him. Let's go! That's a big brown trout, guys. That's a really big brown trout. And that is like, that's big fish fighting 101 when you're like you're an or have like a rod that's not necessarily ideal for the situation. But I'm kidding you not, guys. I walked up here first cast, just flicked in there, set up, and this fish hit. I mean, he's probably 24, 25. He's definitely 24. All right, guys, so I got this fish unhooked. Um, He's definitely bigger than 24. I'm gonna hold him up for you guys. And uh, hopefully he's, she, he, she's nice to me, but no promises. The only thing I can really say about that one is wow. Um, I mean, I can see the fish laying there right now. She's laying up against, it was a she, a big female that's come up here to spawn, I'm sure. Um, they're not paired up or anything yet. They probably will be here in the next month. They'll start to pair up. But I guarantee you she probably doesn't lay in this hole just because she's too big for this section of the creek. But it's funny because I streamer fished this morning and didn't really move anything all that large. I, caught several fish and the, they were feeding for sure. But um, I'm comp and I just start urinifying some of these bigger pockets that I know. And honestly, I'm doing this because down lower in the creeks, um, they're getting muddy and it was really tough to fish it. So rather than fight it, I just came up here and I was like, well, I know that some of these bigger, more migratory browns are gonna be pushing up these creeks because they're gonna wanna try to spawn here in the next like month or so. And um, they have to move up there before they spawn, obviously. So 
It's really cool. I'm literally staring at this fish laying here on this little, this actually spot right here. They might actually spawn here because there's some decent gravel in this hole. Yeah, I'm super stoked about that. It's the biggest brown trout I've caught since that 30, I guess, that I caught way back in March. So, yeah, let's keep fishing, see if we can't catch a few more big old brown trout. So I ended up fishing a little bit more, but I didn't catch anything too impressive. And then it wasn't too long after that that I met up with a few friends and I ended up doing kind of like a little trash cleanup after that. So I didn't really accomplish much more as far as fishing goes, but after you catch a brown trout like the one that I caught, um, it really just, I mean, you're not really gonna outdo yourself on that one. It doesn't matter where you are. And uh, that fish ended up being about 24 and a half inches, 25 inches, somewhere right in there. Uh, I measured it on the net and then I measured the net later on down the road. Um, but seriously, if there are places that you fish a lot or there are places that are in need of help, then try to give back because if more people start giving back, more people clean up trash, more people try to improve the creek in some way, then the fishing is just gonna get better for everyone, which at the end of the day is kind of what we want, right? So a great way to do that is to get involved with your local Trout Unlimited chapter or some sort of uh, volunteer group. I know that my local Trout Unlimited chapters do a lot of fingerling stockings, they do a lot of creek cleanups, they do a lot of creek improvements, like adding uh, structured stuff to the creeks to enable trout to live in there. And I know that a lot of the creeks only really exist because of a lot of volunteers that put on a lot, a lot of hard work and effort into these creeks to help them even have the trout that they do. So give back and I hope you guys enjoyed this video of catching a big brown trout and yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next episode of Hardman Fishing Adventures.